What's up, Swanee High? TJ and Dustin here. Oh, wait, you you can't see us. We're back. Dustin, I think I'm done. Let me see it. Mm. No, let me, let me see it. Let me see it. It doesn't look like you. Let me see it. Well, no, no. Let's go to GMP Connection to see real art. What's up, guys? This is Dustin Pooler and Garrett Rose, the GMP Connection, and we're here with the Word at Swanee High. Last week, we interviewed three students who got their art accepted into the state fair. Let's take a look at it. We're here with three people that got into the state fair, Connor, Jade, and Catherine, and we're going to talk to them about their amazing art. Jade, how do you feel about getting your art accepted into the state fair? Pretty excited. It took a lot of hard work, and I'm glad that they accepted me. So Catherine, how long have you been interested in art? I've been interested in art, I guess, my entire life. Um, when I was little, my mom would always say that I was doing good, and so I just kept drawing over the years, and um, I guess probably uh, 15 years. I've been interested. So Connor, how often do you explore your artistic creativity? Well, um, every assignment I get, I doodle all over my papers. I get in trouble pretty often for that. Um, every time we have a project due, I always take the opportunity to boost my grade by making it more artistic. And in my free time, I'm just drawing constantly. Before, do any of you plan on attending college for an art major? I, um, I plan on going into fine arts. No, I want to be a pharmacist. Yeah, I'm going into fine arts at UCF. All right, that wraps up the interview. That was our word at Swanee High. Okay, we'll see you guys next week. This is the GMP Connection. Mr. Bulldog, we haven't talked in a while, have we? No, no, we have not, young Terry. Not in a long time. So, um, I got a question for you. What is that? You, you basically see everything that goes on in this school, right? Correct, correct. I do I see everything. Could you tell me who won Teacher of the Year? Oh, I believe that was Miss Vickers. Yes, it was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, let's go to Greg with Profile of the Week to learn more about our Teacher of the Year. TJ, what are you... You're talking to a statue, dude. Dude, don't judge me. What's up, YouTube? I'm Greg, and this week's Profile of the Week is Miss Candy Vickers. Recently, she's been named Teacher of the Year at Swanee High School, and I prepared a couple questions for her. Let's see what she has to say. I'm here with Teacher of the Year, and this is her class. Hey. 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 All right, let's ask you a few questions. Miss Vickers, have you ever had been Teacher of the Year before? Yes, I have. You have how many times? Two other times. Two other times? And how many years have you been teaching? 28 years. Oh. What does it mean to be Teacher of the Year for you? It's quite an honor to be Teacher of the Year and be recognized by everybody for the things that these kids have accomplished in life and on a general basis daily. All right, well, we know teachers have to go through a lot and this is just a little bit out of her. Um, we appreciate it, Ms. Dickers, and um, let's go back to the studio. Come on, TJ! Ah! Run through, come on! Come on, you want to be the announcer? Come on! It's playoff time! AFC versus NFC! Come on! Come on! Let's go train with that BDM! Come on! Bulldog Mini! Train! We gotta go to train with the Bulldog Mini! Hurry up! Come on! Come on! Work out! You're nothing! You're nothing! Oh my god! What's up, Swanee, huh? I'm Nick. I'm Tree. We're with this week's Bulldog Mini. Alright, the girls' soccer team played Mayo. They both won the game. One was 6-1 six, six to one and 6 0 oh. The boys soccer team played Santa Fe and they both won 2 0. JV boys basketball team won against Newberry and the varsity lost by one point. Uh, junior varsity also won against Williston and varsity lost by 20 points. The girls will play Williston on January 8th. Alright, Swanee High, that's all this week. I'm Nick. And I'm Tree, and this has been this week's Bulldog Minute. Dude, what are you doing? We recycle. I'm trying to throw stuff away. We recycle. Why? I don't know. Let's go to In the Know with Carson. Hi, my name is Carson Sobig, and for this week's In the Know, we're interviewing one of the leaders of the Environmental Club, Laura Kalen Burright. Okay, so we're going to ask you some questions about our new um, recycling here at um, SHS. What has been the most common thing recycled? The most common thing recycled would probably have to be water bottles and just soda bottles that you can get from the cafeteria or vending machines that kids have brought. Where does the recycling
recyclables go after they're in the bins? Um, after the recycling materials are in the bins, after that we take them to the side of the school where, where a truck will come and pick them up and take them to the, the place for them to be recycled. Where can the students and faculty find these bins around the campus? You can pretty much find any of these bins around the school, in the hallways mainly, by the cafeteria. How has the school responded to the recycling bins? Um, surprisingly, the school has reacted very well to it. They, I've seen tons of objects in the recycling bins. It's just amazing. And why has the Environmental Club um, taken a stand to recycling? Well, the whole deal with the Environmental Club is we, we care about our environment and and whatnot. So by putting out these recycling bins, we figure that if you don't recycle at home, we probably bring stuff here to help with the environment. Dustin? Dustin, what are you doing? Dustin, so I'm just a nice young woman. You're Dustin. Could you possibly spare me a six pencil? No. What? I don't even know what a pen says. Come on, you're supposed to be in so class. So come very on, cold come on. outside. Please help me. Oh, I'm cold. Seeing as cold weather now in Live Oak, let's see what homeless people do to stay warm with Shanika. Okay. Hi, I'm Shanika. And I'm Troy. And we're doing this week's PSA on homeless shelters in Swanee County. Lately there's been cold around Swanee County and we were worried about homeless people, whether they had a shelter for them or not. So we made a few calls around town. And we found out that there are no homeless shelters in Swanee County and the nearest one is in Columbia County. And we also found out that there are shelters for dogs but not humans. What it is, we don't know. Hopefully things will change over time though. And we also contacted some churches and we found out that St. Francis Catholic Church uh, donates jackets and blankets, and other churches donate food, but no churches really donate shelters. But we really need more people to step up in our community and help out, because this is a big problem. But this is all we have for this week, PSA, so. Oh, hi, Swanee, hi. You know, we've just been entertaining you this is what, the second time that we've been hosts and we've just been the best, you know. All this has got me away from my studies and, you know, News Weekly's bringing me back. So, um, until next time, Swanee High, me and Pooler, we're out. Well, Swanee High, we're here with this week's NFL update in the playoffs. Well, as you know, last week, the New York Jets crushed the Cincinnati Beagles, Bengals. Baltimore crushed New England and the Packers almost squeaked one out from the Arizona Cardinals, but fell short on a defensive play. Philadelphia thought they were going to come in and des destroy the Cowboys. They thought wrong. Well, now we're going to move into this week's playoffs. Well, our first game is uh, Baltimore versus Indianapolis. Now, you all know Indianapolis has Peyton Manning, and they have an explosive offense. Their defense isn't too shabby either. Baltimore has a great running game and a great defense. After last week, they're going to be pumped up, ready to go. The Jets versus San Diego Chargers. Well, the Jets, after last week's win over Cincinnati, they're, they're feeling like invincible right now. They're thinking, we can do this. We can make it to the Super Bowl. The Chargers, on the other hand, have had a week off to prepare, an extra week off to prepare for the, for the Jets. We'll see what they can bring to the house. On the NFC side, we have Dallas versus Minnesota. Dallas almost shut out the Eagles last week, and Minnesota's had an extra week off, a first round bye in the playoffs. So it's going to be a pretty tough matchup if uh, both quarterbacks show up to play. Then you have Arizona versus the New Orleans Saints. Now the New Orleans Saints had a week off and they have Drew Brees. They're supposed to get a lot of their players back from injuries. Arizona on the other hand has a few injuries. They out a close win over Green Bay last week. Well, Swanee High, that's all we got for you this week in the NFL playoffs. Tune in next week.